Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. We've been listening to you fans online and one of the things we've gotten a lot of questions about is the unusual layout that Rob put on a couple of balls that he posted on our Facebook. Well, come with us as we review what we did, why, and how it worked here on Laneside Reviews. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I am the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're taking a bit of a drilling adventure here with something we picked up from, well, our favorite rocket scientist, Mo Pinnell. Um, now, myself, I play on a lot of sports shots, and having a, a lot of hand, I can't always play regular equipment because it becomes too touchy. And, uh, well, I got to hook up with Mo, and he brought me something rather spicy in the form of a 90 by two and a quarter by 45 layout. Now that is much different than the layouts you usually see on our Facebook page. And if you're not following us there, you're really missing out because we post a lot of cool stuff there. So um, once I had this low flare uh, layout, I put it on the ball and took it to the lanes. Now once I did, wow. Um, I brought out Scoops, I brought out Wayne, we had to check this out because it was really amazing. And I don't think a lot of bowlers understand why. No, oh, like this layout is designed for a sports shot, uh, which is more of a 1 to 1 or 2 to 1 ratio compared to your house shot, which is like 10 to 1 or 20 to 1, like way up there. Like yeah, for a very oil ratio. Even. Yeah, on yeah. oil ratio, which, you know, on a house shot, you get a little bit of bumper. A sports shot's very flat. And this shot, this layout just could play those shots normal, like, yeah, very what, easy. What it does is the, is the ball doesn't react quite as quickly to friction. Um, and it, it actually reacts, it picks up a different roll characteristic. Where most people get uh, that, that pat number, that mill number, very long, at 4 inches or 5 like, inches. Yeah. We've gone very low, and what that does is rather than making the ball angular, it makes it very rolly. Uh, and it allows players like myself, with a lot of hand or on a sports shot, to be able to play in an area longer without the ball overreacting. Um, and this kind of comes up when you hear about professionals talking about how they can't play certain layouts in league. Yeah, because a lot of the balls you see on tour, they don't, if they were to shoot those balls in a house league or whatever, they would be terrible because the balls would react way different, not come off as nice. It just Total different reaction. Yeah. So now for the first time, we are going to listen to you guys, and we want to show you why, how this layout reacts differently, and how it reacts differently with each bowling style. Um, because I was actually really surprised watching uh, Scoops play it and Wayne play it, and actually being able to look at the physical motion that the ball creates is, is very unusual. And I think this is a great learning tool for a lot of bowlers out there to see you know, while you have your favorite go-to layouts, yeah. if you are a tournament bowler, maybe this isn't a bad thing to, to give a try. Yeah. So, but rather than listen to us yammer on about it, why don't we go lane side and see how it's stacked up. Alright guys, so here we are with the two different layouts. Our regular layout, 60 by 5.5 by 30-ish, and 90 by 2 and a quarter by 45. Now, a lot of people assume that when you change those numbers so much, the ball's going to react much differently. And we found out that's not quite true. That's not, not quite, quite true. true. <laughs> uh, you'll see it a little bit better on the overlay here. Wayne's playing the same line he played inside. And while you see in the red there, which is our low flare ball, it was a little straighter. Right yeah. A little it's, more down lane. It's a little more down lane. It's not jumping off the end of the pattern. Like no. if he'd hit that with the uh, regular pin up uh, ball. Yeah, that would have been Brooklyn. If, yeah. Now look, we moved into the friction here. We moved right yeah. to show the versatility. He went Brooklyn, Yeah. where that uh, ball just jumps off the friction. Yeah. And the other ball still is very smooth. You can see it right here. They're very similar, but you can yeah. see that reaction. The yeah. reaction, the blue line there, which the pin up ball started rolling very quickly. Yeah. And we're going to bring it to scoops here. Yeah. 
Uh, one thing I found interesting when I was when I was editing this, watch where Scoops plays this, this ball, because he hasn't really seen this. Looks pretty similar, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was it was pretty close. Now we talked about this about on a sport pattern how you don't want a ball to overreact yeah. to friction. Yeah. Um, Scoops played this in both places, and the ball reacted. Well, you'll see right here, within a board of it of itself. Pretty much the same, same roll, same up. But that would let me play much, much longer in, that in the one area. same spot. Yeah. Now here I am. I'm playing deep on this. You can see uh, I've gone a little straighter with the low flare ball. Both hit the pocket. But both carried very well. It looks like I played a huge difference, difference. in those two yeah. shots. But when we do the overlay. We get it here. Look at that smiling face. When we get yeah. the overlay there, we're only actually about three, three boards, boards different. Yeah. And it had same motion, same break point. Yep, and you'll see it here when I've moved over into the friction. This layout isn't about more or less hook. Yeah. It's about controlling the motion down lane and being yeah. able to play in an area longer. longer. Yeah, that's the key, especially on sports patterns. Because you can see that the one on the left overreacted to the friction, Yeah. blazed right. by, and left that, that solid, solid nine, nine that we see lots on so sports patterns. Sports, yeah. Now watch. Right on top of each other. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Basically a board different through the entire yeah. thing. All right, guys. That about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews. You also can subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter and Periscope. And don't forget to find us online at www.lanesidereviews.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Laneside. This program sponsored by Turbo, driven to bowl, for all the quad two inserts and interchangeable thumbs we use in all of our videos. Dexter Bowling Shoes, the world's most advanced bowling shoe, the SST8. Bowlerama Berry, for all the lanes we bowl on. For birthday parties and corporate events, call now. Still searching for that perfect fit? With no residue and easy removal, Real Bowler's Tape really is the Real Bowler's choice. Plantronics Rig, stereo headset and mixer, Play more, pause less. And Logo Infusion. Look the best, be the best, infuse your game. Logo Infusion.